Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Friday the 12th of June. The local media headlines today. Well, what are we to make of these COVID-19 numbers? After Wednesday's news that there were five new cases reported in Cornwall, yesterday there were no new cases at all. And at the same time, it seems that half of Cornwall can't wait to go shopping on Monday, while the other half is still too frightened to get out from under the duvet. The problem is that all of the numbers in Cornwall are really quite poor quality because there's been so little testing. We're promised that will improve. Cornwall Reports also looked at next week's Cornwall Council Cabinet meeting, which will be held over a video link, which is a pity because if they could have arranged flags and bunting, then I'm sure we'd be having a party to celebrate County Hall's visionary stewardship of the past three months. The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and joined in the coverage of the anti-racist protests which have been a feature of many parts of Cornwall over the past week. Demonstrators took to the beach and took the knee to make the point that black lives matter. Pirate FM caught up with that warning that Covid-19 could kill 72,000 jobs in Cornwall. The Falmouth Packet congratulated its local football team for a fundraising campaign which is aimed at building a new club stand. The Cornish Times reported the granting of a licence for the Panda Fest Music Festival at Lenivit next year. And finally, Cornwall Live warned us to watch out for thunder and lightning. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.